a former army general and former pilot. He is also a former head of state who is now at loggerheads with the current government. At the center, allegations of corruption and money laundering. On his way to South Africa, his plane was delayed as a result of challenges at the airport. When every day people are on your back, even what I experienced at the airport today in Khaploni, on the way here, where they went out of their way to inconvenience me. Now, usually you know that as a former president, there would be certain courtesies extended to you to facilitate, uh, to, to facilitate you. So today at the airport, those were all taken away. So that's why I was delayed here. Because the time that I give to travel from home and to go through the airport procedures, um, I know how long it takes now. But when that facilitation is removed, without warning, without notice, without explanation, you, then you find yourself, okay, it's fine. I don't mind going through the normal channels that everyone else has to go through anyway. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just that you know it's being done to spite you. So you're then inconvenienced and, 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 and you know, you, you, you go through the normal thing, you're searched, uh, which is fine. Uh, when there would be a vehicle to take you to the aircraft, now you're told you have to walk. When you ask for a courtesy vehicle, they say no, and off you go. So I just said, well, it's fine. You know, we will, we will, we are, I'm used to this now, but that's what goes on. At least when we come to friendly countries in, like in South Africa, those courtesies are still observed, and we, and we appreciate uh, the assistance we get whenever we come here. Hama believes there are lessons to be learned on how other countries have handled political fallouts. I remember when, when um, uh, I was still in office when President Munangagwa uh, uh, took office in Zimbabwe. And you remember at that time when they went for that election, President Mugabe was very bitter about the way he had been removed to even said, I think he said, if I'm not mistaken, that he was going to vote or not vote for ZANU-PF. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he said he was going to vote for the opposition, but I think he said he wasn't going to vote for ZANU-PF. He ZANU said, I'll never vote for my opponent. I was there. Oh, oh okay, you were there, good. So, so, you, so, and I remember President Monagawa said, you know, um, he is our founding president. Mm -hmm. He is our former president. It doesn't matter if, if he has said these words, but as a Zimbabwean, the way we have been brought up in our culture, as an African, we must respect him as an elder. And similarly, as you say, with here in South Africa, what has transpired um, in your own situation, you haven't seen any of that. We, we of course, we picked it up that there could have been some tension between um, um, uh, President Zuma and, and, and Rehm Beki. Uh, you could even have extended it even to the current president and, and President Zuma with what, with what has been going on. But, you know, they just said, no, that is not the way we do things. If anything, let's sit down and resolve the issue. So we don't just go and try to frustrate them and intimidate them and harass them at every opportunity, which is what I've been going uh, through um, uh, this last one and a half years. While Botswana government has not commented on this matter, relations between Hama and Masisi have been frosty. He has sought legal assistance from the international law firm. I think it would be unfortunate to paint somebody who's in wedlock with someone else with the same brush as the spouse. Um, I'm still not... You talked about Iraq. Um, I just don't see how... Um, his good wife, Sherry Blair, mm -hmm. could be uh, implicated in anything that he did when he was Prime Minister. And people would have different opinions about whether uh, Britain going in with George Bush into the Iraq war or not was the right thing to do at the time. But that has absolutely nothing to do with the situation we are talking about now. She's a very independent woman, very independent lady, doing her own work contributing to society, contributing to women's rights, and I think that is something which is commendable, and they shouldn't, she shouldn't suffer any consequences because she happens to be married to Tony Blair, if there are those who think that what he did uh, was, was, was questionable. But like I said, it's a matter of opinion for any individual. 
The government of Botswana was not available for comment. Sophie Mugwin, SABC News, Johannesburg.